Let's go over Palette Master Ultimate newest feature, ICC Sync. This is Art is Right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. Before we go over what ICC Sync is and what it can do, we have to talk about this fundamental. Every time you go in to change the color mode on your display, whether it is Adobe RGB to sRGB, Calibration 1 to Calibration 2, for instance, and regardless of how you change the color mode, whether it is the control on the display or the shortcut key on your hotkey puck, what you have to do every single time is go into your computer operating system and change the corresponding ICC color profile so that it matches with the color mode that you are choosing. This way you can guarantee you're going to get the most accurate color possible. Before Palette Master Ultimate on S3 displays, this is a manual experience. So you have to change the color mode on the display first and then go into the system settings on the Mac or the display settings on a PC and change the ICC profile. With BenQ Latest Palette Master Ultimate, they have made this easy. One additional thing I want to mention about ICC Sync with Palette Master Ultimate is that you have to go in and customize the shortcut key on your hotkey puck first. Whether you use the quick switch key or the one, two, three key, you want to choose the corresponding color mode you want to use. This way you can get the most benefit from ICC Sync inside this newest software. Now, I have Palette Master Ultimate running right now. If I close Palette Master Ultimate out and exit this, you will see that Palette Master Ultimate is really running on the menu bar this entire time. In fact, it also starts up with your computer operating system for both Mac and PC. This is a feature and not a bug. So I already have gone in and calibrate this BenQ brand new SW272U with three different calibrations. So for calibration one, I've chose Adobe RGB. This is your standard photography preset. For the second one, I chose D50. This is soft proofing using Adobe RGB, but the luminance is 160. And for the third one, I've gone in and calibrated this as standard 80 nits Rec 709, again, using one of the preset from Palette Master Ultimate. So what I'm gonna do now is call up system settings. And what we're gonna see clearly right now, once I select BenQ SW272U is that we can see that the SW272U Cal1 Adobe RGB is selected because this is in calibration one. So the moment I change this to calibration two, we're gonna give this a moment. You're going to see right away on the display that the profile has changed. This is now SW272U Cal2 soft proof. Now I've shortened this name a little bit to make it easier to see that it is changing, but nonetheless, you get the idea. In general, I recommend keeping the name the same. This way you don't have to worry about like trying to figure out what setting you choose or what setting you calibrate your display to. And a moment ago, I just pressed calibration three. We are now at SW272U Cal3 Rec 709. So going back to calibration one again, it's going to take just a quick moment and now you can see that the profile has switched back to my custom calibrated or custom hardware calibrated Adobe RGB. This is an extremely cool feature. Now, one more thing I'd like to share with you, and this is a new feature inside the SW272U and Q, is that on the hotkey puck itself, this is now wireless, but there is a button right in front and this is called the info button. Now, this info button is really cool because the moment I press that, if I'm not sure what calibration one is or how I gone in and calibrate calibration one and what are all the parameters, I simply press that button and I can see right away that my brightness is set to 120. The white point is D65, the gamma is 2.2 and the color gamut is Adobe RGB. Let's go over to hardware calibration slot two and press the info button again. I can see now that the brightness is 160 nits, white point D50, the gamma we're using L star for this one and the color gamut is Adobe RGB. If I go into the third hardware calibration slot, I can simply press that and I can see that this is calibrated to 80 nits. This is why the display is dimmer. The white point is D65, but the gamma, because this is for video, Rec 709, right? It is 2.4 and the color gamut is Rec. 709. So this is a new feature inside the SW272U and SW272Q that makes it much easier for us to really figure out what parameter we use in our calibration because the software is now vertically integrated with the hardware of the display itself. Anyway, I hope you find this session helpful. If you have any questions or comment, leave them below. Give this a like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you're new, and in Art We Trust.